If I told you that playing video games was a professional sport, you probably would laugh at me. But if I mentioned that one of the sports world championship matches drew more viewers in the 2013 World Series, you may pay attention. Welcome to the world of eSports, E standing for electronic, a world of online computer gaming that has grown a strong following with the League of Legends game at Texas A&M. eSports is essentially the competitive side of video games, much like NFL is to football. It's, it's exciting, it's, it's only really known to gamers, and that's just because people don't really view it as a really worthy industry yet. But unlike regular sports, eSports has no boundaries. So Dylan here can play with any player anywhere in the world. And the numbers across the world are staggering. For the League of Legends game, there are 50 million subscribers, 30 million daily users, and a World Championship event that sold out tickets in the first five minutes. One of the competitors in the World Championships was former Aggie William Lee, who was 16 credits away from graduating with an economics degree before he dropped out to become a pro gamer. He now makes $250,000 a year from sponsorships, advertisements, and by taking part in streams where people from all over pay for him to give them tips to play better. So how is this a sport? You're on a team of five people versus another team of five people and there's an objective to kill the enemy nexus which wins you the game. They have to practice for days on end just to even compete with the other ones. Call them what you want, these athletes embrace the term nerds. You can look at football and oh yeah they're just a bunch of meatheads. People think they're nerds, and in fact we are. We kind of embrace it wholly. If you were to come up to me and say, hey, you're a big fat nerd, I'd be like, thank you. You know, walk, keep doing what I do, and um, hopefully invite you out and see what it's all about. The group at AM has over 400 people looking to compete at some of the higher levels, and one thing for certain is that the sport only has more room to grow. Reporting from College Station, Mike McCoy, ABC 40 Sports.